Seventh Generation was founded on a couple of core principles. And, you know, doing the right thing is in our DNA. It's all we know how to do. We don't have green products and not so green products. Everything we do is with the health of the consumer and the health of the planet uh, in mind. When you purchase seventh generation laundry detergent, uh, you can turn over the back label and they're in full disclosure of all the ingredients of what we put into our product. We're not required to do that. There is no law that says we need to do that. We do that because it's the right thing to do. It's part of building conscious consumerism. And we can talk a lot about that. I think that is ultimately uh, what we all must do. Um, but educating, informing, allowing consumers to make those choices, and then being really conscious of what we put in. For example, uh, the backbone of our laundry brand is, is a free and clear. We use no dyes and no fragrance in our free and clear laundry detergent. A lot of people have allergies. Um, and so it's really important that they're not exposed to uh, these ingredients. Um, and so we make it easy for them to avoid chemicals they're looking to avoid. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we need greater moral courage from our leaders. Uh, we need people who uh, begin to think like B corporations and, you know, not, think about stakeholders, not simply shareholders. Uh, Seventh Generation is a B Corp. We are honored to be a, uh, an early founding and leading B Corp. We're setting an example by being a B Corp that you can actually think consciously about all stakeholders and, and generate uh, a consumer following, uh, a healthier business climate, uh, a rich corporate culture uh, which attracts great talent, uh, and ultimately uh, deliver a sustainable bottom line for shareholders. Um, we need more B Corps and we need them quickly. Uh, we need more conscious leaders and we need them quickly. Uh, this, you know, I, I, you know, unfortunately we have the boiling frog effect right now. Um, the water was not boiling when we dropped the frog in, instead the heat is rising. And, and if we don't think quickly, if we don't leap from the water uh, and change our behaviors, change our leadership, uh, in particular in business, um, we're going to have a real challenge on our hands. We need to uh, really build this kind of conscious consumerism network of like-minded uh, companies that have influences over consumers uh, and create the right, not only education, but excitement, engagement, incentives for consumers to take that next step uh, on the journey. It's inspiring. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.